Thanks, Kelly. New York's new law allowing adoptees to have unrestricted access to their original birth certificate is now in effect. Two on your side's Leanne Stuck explains how the process works and how it changed one Western New York woman's life. Pamela McCad, though, turns 56 on Thursday. Sure enough, he did again. In the mail, she received a present from her birth father's family. Chocolate turtles with a note. These turtles are part of the family DNA, as you know. But she hasn't received presents like this for every birthday. For most of Pan's life, she didn't know who her parents were. She was adopted. I have twin daughters, and uh, the day they were born, when I was in the delivery room, I told my husband at the time, I said, I have to find my mother. Her birth records were sealed, and she only had what she calls a fake birth certificate, one with the names of her adopted parents. It took me a year through research and hiring somebody to help me find, some, find her, and I did. And from there, the search began for her birth father. His name was David Graham. I typed in Harvard and Canada, because he was from Canada, and sure enough, his picture popped up on the internet. Pam was able to track down her father's family, but wasn't prepared for what they were going to tell her. Unfortunately, you know, he's in a coma right now. He had a stroke. And he died a short time later, before Pam could meet him. Though she's close with his family now, it's hard for her not to think, what if this law had been passed sooner? The angry part of me is, if I had information beforehand, I could have found him. But being a believer in everything happens for a reason, Pam created a family tree on her wall, a constant reminder of what she's been given. And this right here is the entire, the Graham family. And at 1 a.m., she applied for her real birth certificate. A little sheet of paper, she says, will complete her. I don't have to search anymore. Yeah. I know everything I need to know. And if you're like Pam and want your birth certificate, here's what you need to know. Who can apply for one? An adoptee who is 18 years of age or older, a child, grandchild, or great-grandchild of the adoptee, a lawful representative, or a lawful representative of family. What do you need? You'll need a valid form of ID and two forms with your address, like a bill or a letter, and it will cost you $45. Leon Stuck, Channel 2 News.